when you are uh, making fun of people like Ayn Rand, who, uh, whose followers are basically, uh, well, they're atheistic Taliban. It's a political memoir. Uh, a lot of people thought it was f a lot of fiction in it. Um, my take on it is that memoir is neither fact nor fiction. It's the truth as the author remembers it. Ayn Rand, I've had a, a love-hate relationship with all my life. Uh, she's, uh, she made a great case for capitalism, uh, put it on a moral footing. Uh, before that, it was mostly a utilitarian argument for the benefits of capitalism. But she was bizarre. I mean, Galt's Gulch would not be a fun place to live in. Homosexuals would not like to live there. Uh, if you had a beard or a mustache, you'd be in trouble in Galt's Gulch. So uh, she had a great impact. She was a, a brilliant woman, but she was also a, a loony at the same time. And, uh, but her books keep selling. She's reaching people intellectually out there. And that's, and that's good, as long as we don't take her ideas, the implementation of her ideas, too seriously. Uh, Murray Rothbard's idea of his uh, anarcho-capitalist utopia would be a nightmare, I think, uh, because everything would be adjudicated. You would have to sue anybody that you'd, who was doing something that you perceived to be a violation of your private property rights and, and, and your personal property rights. So for example, uh, if you're Donald Trump and your neighbor is uh, spewing filth into your stream that runs across your property, and you've got lawyers on your payroll for a million dollar a year retainer, well, you sue. And, and you're going to win because you're Donald Trump and you've got very deep pockets. Joe Blow out there doesn't have a, stand, a, a leg to stand on in a, in a Rothbardian uh, society. I, uh, I remember having this discussion with uh, a key Rothbardian about a year or two ago. And I said, well, what about people who get a, a lawsuit against them and just can't come up with a million dollar judgment? He says to me, uh, People who can't pay their bills in Murray society would be enslaved. And I'm thinking to myself, libertarian slavery, that's the, there's a message that's going to resonate around the world. The essence of it is uh, uh, adherence to the Bill of Rights, total adherence to the uh, First and Second Amendment, certainly, um, keeping the government out of our sex lives, our, out of our literature. Um, allowing free trade across the border, and I, I distrust uh, centralized power. I also distrust it on a corporate level, too, uh, and I think a lot of the corporate power we've got is a result of corporate welfare. So to me, um, libertarianism should strive to strip government out of all these areas of our lives. You, if you take the, the Rand model and the Rothbardian model, and the, the Friedman model, Friedman's is the only one that has any chance remotely of being implemented in, in, in this society. Uh, low taxes, uh, keep government out of most of our affairs, uh, uh, defend the country, um, and, uh, and very little else. He came up with ways of uh, privatizing our retirement system, uh, our school system, and so on. I think we should aim in that direction. And then after that, we could have all the arguments about whether we should go to full anarchism or not. But we're a long, long way away from that. For a while, I had given up on the LP. Uh, I mean, they were putting up one crazy candidate after another. Uh, I mean, there were good ones, too, Harry Brown uh, and a few others. But uh, by and large, they were putting up amateurs who didn't know what they were doing and had no money. Uh, this year could be different. And the problem is, is that you know, none of us are going to agree 100% with anybody who calls himself a libertarian either. Uh, Roy Childs used to say, you can call yourself a grapefruit, but that doesn't mean you are one. So uh, Bob Barr is taking positions. Ron Paul took positions that I certainly don't agree with, particularly on immigration and abortion rights. Uh, but you know, if you get 80, 85% of it, and you get a thrust in the right direction, that's the best we can hope for right now. And that's probably. Uh, this year is a chance for the LP to finally uh, get on the map in, in a significant way.